guys welcome back to another vlog i do apologize for cutting the oh wait no i need to turn this ac back on because honey uh -uh. it is your girl casey i do apologize for the last video that i did not end it off but my camera actually ran out of space so i had to separate um the beginning of this video that was um the same day of that day when i was um vlogging that day that apartment but now i'm gonna go look at another apartment some sky rise apartments this time because i'm just trying to break everything down and see what i want quote the prices and see what makes sense but yeah um disclaimer you guys know my lashes always look a little bit crazy but whatever but anyways we're about to go look at the sky rise really quickly it is literally like a week later or whatever but um i hope you guys enjoyed the last apartment tour it was very nice but i'm still trying to crack down on the decision making process so we're getting very 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 close i'm just trying to see all my options i'm trying to weigh everything out that way i can love and enjoy the apartment that i'm about to move into because i do plan to stay there for a little while maybe about 15 months maybe two years max and then i'm gonna probably go buy another house but yeah so let's get right into that because i don't want to be chit chatted up and i don't want to be taking up all my space on my phone like i did last time boo what the f what are you doing anyways let's get right into that oh yes this was the one this was the one <laughs> so you guys i'm my third apartment the towels here much better the bathtub walk-in closet oh y'all fancy y'all got fendi prada in here <laughs> Burberry, Ferragamo. Closet space is not as big. The bathroom is much bigger. Seventeen. I think I I like this one. Here. And then all of them. So all these up the side. Yes. Nice. And this is really. It's more affordable, I would say, than the other ones that I looked at. So they were more like 18, 19, but you said it kind of changes. Does it oh, like. Oh, yeah, if you wait, it's going to change. Yeah. wood is not bad though either even though i would prefer that uh lighter, lighter wood have you had any complaints about like these peeling or anything or uh -uh. that's the only thing that i'd be worried about with that. <laughs> yeah like because i've seen some drawers is like uh like the water i guess can make it start peeling and then coming up they would replace like that. It before it ever did that. yeah okay wash and dryer this one, two. Mm bit smaller than the other one but the windows are big she's in her seats another closet detail 
I'll probably put like all my film equipment and stuff in here. <laughs> oh, that's a pool area. Nice. down in the middle of midtown baby okay like this shit looking period already and looking like city vibes to me okay i feel like i no it was another place i, was, I feel like i've been here before similar to this, oh God, it. it was um atlantic house it was atlantic very house. similar to this Okay, and the calendars would be this color. Yeah. Okay, but 10th floor. And it'll look the exact same, just... Yeah, it'll be, it's going to be the same floor, painted just on the 10th floor. Mm-hmm. Yeah, same setup. Same okay. Thing. All right, let me check in the room. I do get a balcony. Yeah, all, up there. all units come with balconies. Nice. It's so small. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. I mean, but I guess that's like, like I said, it's a lot of compromising. Unless I'm paying like over two thousand. Yeah. Uh, all right, hang on, let me. So it's, it's only a standing shower, no um, no sit down tubs, and then got a little coat coat closet. Hmm. all right you guys so i am back home and i will say i was a little bit disappointed about that apartment it's called the sky house midtown i would say and i mean the area you got to think about it it is midtown the foot traffic when i was coming in it was a little bit of people coming in and out it's literally feeling like city vibes for real for real and then there was like a huge parking deck and I had to pay $5 for parking. But I just felt like it was so fast. Like you guys seen how fast this video went? That's how fast my tour went. It was like literally five minutes. She showed me only one apartment. She said the other apartments didn't, they wasn't available to show me. So she was going to send them in my email and show me a virtual tour, which I'll probably put a screen recording on so you guys can see it as well. Because it was just like, what the, f like. Bro, I, then she didn't show me no amenities. She was like, I felt rushed because she said she had a four o'clock appointment. And it was just like, so you're going to rush my appointment because you have another four o'clock. But why would you say I can schedule at 3.30 if you got a four o'clock? So like, anyway, so I was a little bit disappointed about that place. But um, she did say the cheapest that she found for me was $1,777. So that's $1,777 for that apartment, which is doable for me. I can do $1,777. When it's like 18 and 19, that's kind of a stretch. It's kind of pushing it. But I think it would do really, really good. Um, I can do it. It's just, I just got to do it, you know. But um, yeah, I was just a little bit disappointed about that. So tomorrow, I'm going to go look at these other apartments, which is called the Alexan in Midtown. And it's not through my agent. It's through myself. I actually saw it online. And they look like they have the best floor to ceiling windows. And it kind of looks like the Alexa and what you guys will see and what you guys saw in the last video. And I'm sorry, it's people outside of my house. But you guys saw that in the last video. So I do like the Alexa and property. I like how their architecture is built as far as the building and like the counters, the cabinets and how the wall and all that stuff like that. They use really good quality materials to build a property. So I just want to check out their midtown location, which is like 15 minutes from my job. So yeah, we'll see that tomorrow. I don't know if I'm going to add that into this video or not, but also I'm getting my car washed, you guys. So I haven't did an official car tour for you guys. So today, if I'm able to still catch daylight because it is like 5.30, um, after he's done washing my car, um, I'll go ahead and do a car tour because I had the car for about a year, a year, tripping. I had a car for about a month and like two weeks or whatever. So I want to go ahead and show you guys the car, the detailing of the car and everything that I like about it. I've absolutely been loving 
the lifestyle of being a bmw owner so yeah so i'll see you guys a little bit later when the car comes back okay Okay, it's your girl Casey. So we finna do a car tour. I just got my car washed so I can show y'all real quick. I'm gonna keep her running for a little bit just to show y'all what I got going on. So let me step out the car. You can come over here real quick. So I know y'all saw the BMW when I got it a few weeks, well maybe like a month and a half ago, but y'all I finally, finally just got my baby washed. And she's looking real good. Let's get the front of the car so you can see that real quick. It's a four door and it is BW 320i. So it's a 2014. It has the eco speed, the uh, sports speed, and it has the comp uh, with the comfort mode. So let's go on the inside so I can show you guys how to come inside. Go ahead and sit in. Alright, so in here you guys this is the steering wheel which you guys know with the steering wheels, whatever. But it's a BMW, got the little BMW logo right here. This is the dashboard. On the dashboard, I do have my gas right here, which I need to put some gas in the car, y'all. And this is your speedometer here. Not sure what this is, what that is. I don't know. This part. But this right here, it showed you like your speed, your gas, and it showed you like the time here. You can put your car in park, the date. You also have the degrees and the miles and all that stuff up there. And then this here over here, let me see if I can get it. Over here, it'll show you um the cool it like how cool or how hot your car is or whatever but yeah this is pretty much everything in the car we got the radio the radio stuff here so i'm just gonna leave that here so the radio station usually to turn it is here on the dashboard so you use that little thing here to kind of click on it and then i usually just tap that and then you can change it from station to station or you can just click it over and you go to am presents tone whatever that stuff is but you can connect your telephone, your contacts, all that stuff here. You can go to your settings. Um, there is two cool things about the car. Um, I can have my AC blown on one side and I can have like it hotter on this side. So you can adjust the temperatures on both sides. And you can heat your seats up here. So if you want your butt hot, it's going to get very hot. But I don't know how that works with the AC on. So your butt don't necessarily get cool, but it'd be hot. But... That's just how you adjust it there. If you want it on full max, or you want it on medium, or if you want it um, on a little bit less hot or you know um, off, you can just turn it off there. I don't necessarily use these numbers. I usually just kind of use my little circle thing here to um, to tour my radio. But that's pretty much that. And then you got the um, air conditioner and all that stuff here, so you can turn it up if you want it to blow hotter, or you can just turn it down if you want it to. Um, not as much air blowing you can adjust the temperature here this is to turn it to heat or to cold this is how you unlock the door you guys because i didn't know how to unlock my doors at first when i first first got the car because usually you have like the unlock um button everything over here but it is actually in the middle of my car and then you got your uh hazard lights or whatever there um so that's pretty much the inside of the car this is that brown interior with the black and silver which i would prefer a lighter brown but i mean the dark brown is really cute anyways you got the window stuff here this is how you adjust your mirrors so move it over to the left mirror and i can adjust it and move it back and forth like that anyway so that's the front of the car if you want to get the back of the car look at them rims baby everything just looks really good um it says BMW efficient dynamics because I don't have to get more um, less emissions, more driving, it says. But this is pretty much how the back of it looks. Um, I do have a three passenger seat, but actually really two, but somebody could probably sit in the middle. And then I have the drinks and everything that can go in here. 
and you just kind of click that button that opens up so that way you can put your drinks in there and then i also have um ac and heat control back here my seats are pushed all the way back my brother was just in it obviously the sunroof is open you guys this is how it's looking on the inside with the sunroof up there i don't know why that is blinking <laughs> for some reason on camera that's blinking like that i don't know but that's how the sunroof is looking this is how it looks from the inside of the car i'm just gonna kind of let it pan around into the car so like i said it is four seats so i got a seat here which is pulled all the way back and then you got the seats in the back yeah and we got this little thing here in the middle what i'm about to say can you clean this part it's a little yeah i'll be having my car dirty as hell but anyways you got your emergency brake right here you got audio menu telephone connection there like i said this is the thing to control my radio here as you can see um this actually comes up so this is my key that i had got you guys so this is a used car so um this was a little bit messed up and everything so i didn't like that but it came with this key and it is a 2014 bmw officially a bmw owner period but um so i didn't, i asked my um my neighbor because he actually washed cars but i was asking him if he had any plastic so i could put this on my feet but i mean i don't want to i didn't want to get my car dirty and everything i'm already getting it dirty see a little stuff down there on the floor i need to actually get floor mats because my car didn't come with floor mats unfortunately but this comes up let me see how you pop this up without popping my nails off anyways this comes up anyways this clothes here is still a little sticky or damp or wet or whatever but i'll be right back and i'm gonna show y'all the trunk there is a way actually where's my keys oh <laughs> here i always usually grab my keys to um pop the trunk or whatever but you have a little button here to open the front of the car and i think under here i don't know what this stuff is but it came with the car oh here's the pop you can pop your trunk under here so we're gonna go to my trunk hopefully it's not a mess which i don't think it is but this is what is in the back of my trunk right now this is how it's looking I don't really want to show you guys my license plate oh it's not it's at the top anyway so this is pretty much how the back of the car is looking y'all absolutely love it i got some hair which i never did my hair you guys with that so that's some hair stuff this is just empty and that's my shoes from pretty little thing but yeah this is pretty much the bmw here that's just the logo there and like i said it's a 320i so that's just how it's looking and you guys i'm just loving the rims i just got my baby clean so she is looking absolutely gorgeous so usually the car is still on so um i'm not able to lock the doors well actually i can't lock the door so sometime in the morning time i'll start my car and then i'll lock the doors and i'll go right inside so that way the car can still run be still running or whatever but that is my baby i just wanted to do a quick tour for you guys so you guys can see it i hope you guys enjoyed it it is a nice little simple car and this is just pretty much how it looks from the back yes gorgeous absolutely love this a lot i've been loving my baby a lot so that's just how it looks from the back and then all these cars are coming by sheesh and then this is how it's looking from the front yes bmw owner period anyways you guys so that is pretty much it for this video um i didn't really do much today but that apartment tour so today the day that i'm filming this video is the day that i film that second apartment tour the first one was from the last day the last video which was like a week ago but i just had cut it so it won't be like a super long video but that is pretty much it for this video you guys thank you guys for always coming back to my channel make sure you guys hit that like button comment down below let me know what you guys think about the apartments let me know what you guys think about my car and you guys make sure you head over to my instagram and follow me at miss casey msk you guys we are almost at one 
thousand subscribers literally probably like 19 or 18 subscribers away from your girl being monetized like all my hard work is finally about to pay off so period 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 pull okay thank you guys for always coming back to my channel and i see you guys in my next video bye you guys <laughs>